Hey Magic Cameo on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing in the FNM at Home Momir event. Momir is silly. It's like being a kid that goes in the candy shop. If you did it every day, it might be a bit too much, it might give you a tummy ache, but every now and then it's a sweet experience. The way that this works is that I'm going to have an emblem, as will my opponent. We can discard a card and pay X mana, and that'll just give us a random creature. <laughs> Obviously, this only really works online. It only really works when you have a program to facilitate randomness amongst all creatures available. This looks fun. This looks like a lot of fun. Now, I'm going to be playing until I get two wins. I don't know if they have to be consecutive, but there we go. So, let me give it a try. Here goes. Here goes nothing. All right. Mm. And by the way, shoutouts to Evangeline. These are actually hers. I got these for her. It's um, Mario sunglasses. <laughs> and, oh, hi, hi, Karn. Hi, Gavin. Yes, I, geez. Hmm, I think I'll keep this. <laughs> Why is this even a decision? All right. See if they play something first. I'm usually inclined not to. On my first turn, one drops are just generally not that great when you're guaranteed the next one each turn. If they have a, if I draw a mountain, I'll play a mountain just to try to keep it as even as possible. Not for any actual reason. Let's see, what cards have activated abilities that I care for the most? Okay, so they're gonna do it now. And they made a one, okay, that's fine. We're gonna pass, actually. I'm going to let them take a turn ahead in the really late game, that can end up mattering. The, the fact that I'll be able to get two higher drops might end up mattering. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't wait for two terribly long, but a 1-1 one, one that when it dies, a masses one, that's nothing. That, that's basically a non-creature as far as I'm concerned. And I do have a planes. Alright, so so that you don't have to hear me complain about not having enough coffee, I brought a whole container. Oh, okay. How many cards do we have in this format? Uh, enough. Pay two. I said two. There we go. So now we need to start doing stuff. Discard an island, because that totally matters. What did I get? A 2-1. When it blocks or becomes blocked, deals one damage to that creature. That's pretty nice. We'll take that. So, they can't really attack with either of these, actually, because even before first strike, it'll kill it. So we'll see what 3-drop comes out. Now, it can only be creatures, so no pumps, no equipments, no auras, nothing like that. Importantly, though, I'm not sure how this is going to function with mutate. I think it's just going to put the creature into play. I don't believe that it'll let me mutate them. Alright, so we're going to, unless we draw a mountain here, we're going to miss out, I'm afraid. Okay. What is this? Just a 2-3. Okay. Blocks or becomes blocked deals one damage to that creature. Alright, there we go. Boom. And I take one. I don't think that worked out the way that they had anticipated it working out. Okay. Before we... We're not going to attack, obviously. So we'll pay three. See what we get. Uh, discard an island. Just have so many. Uh, what is this? When it deals combat damage to a creature, tap that creature. It doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Queen of oh, Queen of Ice. Okay, I remember you now. Not I'm not seeing you in this form, but you also have an adventure. Okay. Whale. I'm gonna have all five colors in Momir. That's pretty cool. What is this? A 4-3 deals combat damage to an opponent. That player discards a card at random. If the player does, they draw a card. Okay. That's interesting. I don't feel like going on offense. I think that that's probably not a great idea just yet. But the longer the game goes on... Um, I mean, I, I don't dislike where I am here. Drop up. Well, we have so many islands, we'll just drop another island. Ooh. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, that's, that's, that's nice. That's nice. I'm still going to say no, though. 
<laughs> okay, so this is historic. That helps. That away. There we go. Oh, what do you do? Flash, when it enters the battlefield, return to your hand all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. Interesting. Sorcery. Okay, cool. Just now I know. Now we'll play out an island. Do this. This might take a while, folks. I'm sorry. Alright. What is this? Whenever you lose life for the first time each day, uh, that's not great. This would just be a weird trade. I think I'm okay with waiting. Deals combat damage to a creature. Interesting. So I have two creatures that are great on defense. This one's pro-black. Or can't be bro blocked by black creatures. Not pro-black. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, that's silly. And it has haste. Ooh, it has haste. Okay, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, the fact that we've been discarding lands this whole time, that seems nuts. That's nutty. Okay. I see where this is going. Okay. Um, let's think. If I block very favorably for me, so I can go, well, uh, you go here. Five, three on the two, three. Four, four on the three, three. Has trample but I can keep you tapped down for a little while. This is so bad. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. Well, it's it's random, so... Hmm. Let's try this. Okay, kills that one, dies a masked one, so that's not really that big of a deal, but it gets rid of the first strike, I guess. And it's the only one that I could kill for that. So I go to five. Miltani stays tapped. The player discards a... Oh, yeah, so a bunch of stuff is happening here. Okay. Can I please get a Multani? That would be nice. Yeah, that, that card just seems nuts. Ooh, okay. Yeah. What's this? Just a 6-5 menace. Uh, sneaking suspicion. Not enough. Can't be blocked by you. You would kill it. Um... On the one hand, this feels like my best chance, but I still need to wait. At most... I mean, we're not doing much. Yeah, we need to wait. Even so, we need to wait. We get one extra blocker, we get one extra attacker. Let's see what, what 7 drop they can pull out. I've been trying as best I can to distribute my mana, just in case I get any activated abilities. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, and it's a 4-4. Four four. Well, Hexproof. The only one it can kill is the Ornery Goblin. I, I did a decent number to my opponent's board, but it kind of doesn't really matter, given that they still have a 13-13. Kind of doesn't matter, and we're only getting creatures, so I guess it'd be nice if I could come across a Raven's Chupacabra. That would be okay. Should I fish for that? Play a 4-drop just so I can... Well, no. I could play a 6-drop to get Multani, maybe? Like, a 7... What 7-drops seven I'm looking for here? What 7-drops could get me out of this? I think that that's probably better, getting the guaranteed 7, than hoping to get a Chupacabra. Okay. Sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, 
you know, less, less powerful, just a little bit, a little bit less powerful there. All right, Multani's back online. Oh, the good news is we can kill Multani. The bad news is we're going to take a beating in the meantime. What is the? Oh, okay. And it flies, and I'm at five. And I don't control anything with flying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Wait, what just happened there? You may return to our creature. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. I thought this was the one that had all the... I should have looked at it better. One with all the eyes on it. I'm just going to give him the good game. No, no, no. You win 0% of the games where you concede. Uh-oh. Like, okay, so they have to attack properly, but I think that they're doing that. Alright, so this is Trample. Uh, yeah, we can't, we actually can't win from this. We're dead. Give him the good game. I can do the math on this. 14-14 reach Trample is a lot. They got me. Alright, well there we go, that's one. One game down. I could have gone a bit better. And I still ended up having an extra card in hand, so playing a little bit late ended up not actually working out in my favor. It does if the game goes on for late enough, but it didn't just then. Uh, I was anticipating the game going on for a bit later, and one drops just still seem kind of bad. I think I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try holding back to get that late game advantage. Give them the one drop. Yes, I will keep. Alright. Hey, Janny. Hey, Johnny. Barthosius. That sounds familiar. I don't happen to know if that's a personality. Play a mountain pass. I'm doing it again, folks. I'm doing it again. Oh, they did They did it too. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is so silly. And I love it. This is so silly. Welcome to Magic as Richard Garfield intended. Oh yes, let's, let's do this. I am loving this. This is so silly. Itchy though. A little bit itchy. Man, what can you do? Alright, let's go. Play something. Oh, they moved over the emblem. I think they want to break serve here. Maybe. Do it. Do it. Okay. They're gonna go up on tempo for... Uh-oh. Oh. They got me. That's a really good card. When you only can get creatures. All right, Ravenous Chupacabra. Ravenous Chupacabra. Please, Ravenous Chupacabra. Lend me your strength. Well, I mean, it, at least it can't attack without dying. At least it can't attack yet. I would rather have gotten rid of it, but that's okay. We'll we'll live. Okay. Three one flyer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not great. They have a board that can take advantage of that, unfortunately. I'm not incentivized to attack because I can let the crank out through. Um. Let's say you. But if I don't, if I just never attack, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> ooh I, I don't like it. I love it. Okay, a little bit better than a three-one flyer. Please, please attack. All right, let's see what they have. A three-seven. What do you do? Just a three-seven. Okay, we can live with that. Oh, I can feel the power. Hey! Hey there. Alright. So many cards are so good in this when there's no removal. <gasps> okay, no instance or sorceries, but I'm, I'm liking it. Alright, so a 3-7 and a 1-2. 
Unfortunately, I still have to wait, but I have a flyer. I do have a flyer. Welcome to the game that started it. This is a uh, Karuga game. Karuga, Karuga the Macro Sage, I believe. Alright, what do we have? <laughs> Rakdos? Flying Trample, when it enters the battlefield, flip a coin for each creature that isn't a demon, devil, or imp. Destroy each creature whose coin comes up tails. All right, we'll kill this, because I'm only going to get to draw one card, in all likelihood. Okay. Oh, what did I lose again? I don't even remember, to be honest. Seems like I got off pretty well, though. Seems like I got off okay. Okay, let's see. Got a seven. I lost my, uh, can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less, I think. That one. We're getting there. Thundering spine back. Other dinosaurs you control get plus one plus one. Here's what, here we go. Create a three three green dinosaur creature token with trample. That seems like it's always going to be worse than just playing another card, but you know, I guess it's a thing. Um, they have a bigger creature than I do here, but if they attack, it doesn't tend to go well for them. But we are just building the board. Look at this. Look at this silliness. And we're going to start pointing Niv at them. Getting a 3-3 three, three every turn. <laughs> I don't need this ability. I'm already getting a 3-3 three, three every turn. That's a little hot. Cool down a bit, buddy. Oh, hello. No. 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 Uh-oh. What's going on? 4-5, when it attacks, if defending player has two or fewer cards in hand, it gains fly until end of turn. Uh, spoiler alert, that'll be a thing. I'm gonna say no blocks. It doesn't... Oh, this is this is weird on their part. I'm gonna say it's weird. But I'm at 11, so I, I can't really blame them, to be honest. Alright, well, play another Swamp. There aren't that many 8-drops, even if we're counting Historic. When we get up to 9... Oh, too far. I can feel the power. What?! <gasps> oh my goodness! Give me one more turn. Give me one more turn. Ooh. Should I just attack with Niv? I'm not going to block with Niv anyway. I guess I do, right? Or, 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 hear me out, I wait a turn, block Rakdos with Niv. I mean, I have enough, I can just, yeah, no, 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 let's not. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Look at all these 7-7s. Seven oh, if only I'd known. Gigantomancer. That's an awesome name. Alright, what's your 8-drop? I don't even need to cast um, the Naya Dinosaur that does a bunch. What is this? Additional cost to cast the spell. You may sacrifice any number of creatures. This spell costs two less. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, they're not doing that. When it en enters the battlefield, up to one target's... Okay, becomes half their starting life total rounded down. You know, just to be... They're tapped out, so they, they aren't having any tricks. So we are, we, we are done. We win the game. We are done. That's, that should be game. I don't know that I even need to do this. I won't. No blocks. Target you, kaboom, and then play out the, oh, hello, play out the planes. All right, see how they'd like to block. Oh, and by the way, base pad, these are nine nines. 
plus two plus two base power was what goes from one one to seven seven. Yeah, this card is silly. It, this is not, I, I actually hate going through this kind of luck all the time, but every now and then it's okay. It's cool. That's cool. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, they did it. They, they, they saw. Writing on the wall. All right. Hopefully just one of So we can get there. Oh, I got stuff. What did I get? Oh, hi, Chandra. Actually, my first Chandra. That one, anyway. Okay. Cool. Not too long before she rotates. All right, here, here goes nothing. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? Tomb of the Mutilated. So the moral of the story is don't break surf. Or if you do, just just be ready. All right, unless this hand is questionable. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, yeah, let's play that. Fast turn. I like the how I'm not the only one doing this. Okay. I just would like to play the same thing. Let's go. Alright. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Alright. What was that? An island? Play an island? I'm wearing sunglasses. I can't see. That's how that works. Planes? Yes. Let's go. Oh, hello? Get out of there. This is so silly. I'm so glad I'm recording this. I'm loving everything. Okay, well, I don't have a mountain, so... Uh-oh. All right. Well, it looked like they were doing it. I guess we're starting at six. That's where this game is going. We're starting... <gasps> Ooh. Okay, well, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Play another forest. Hello? Hey, there we go. Still getting used to the mouse. Discard another forest. Why not? Just use touchscreen. What is this? Ah, uh, come on. When it dies, surveil too. That's useful. I mean, I guess it keeps Niv from attacking here. That's, that's true. It's a flying five power creature. Alright, what do we have? What's going on? I should do that again. And I say... Double strike when it attacks... Oh! Oh no! Oh no, that's terrifying! Well, that's unfortunate. Oh jeez. What are we at now, seven? Alright, come on. Could use a big ol' card. It's a very technical magic term. That's a big ol' card, and it is equal to the number of lands I control, so... I guess we'll... ooh, but that's still 10 if I don't block. So I do block, and then it dies, surveil 2. That doesn't do anything here, though. Like, at all. So maybe I should've... oh, I don't know. Uh-oh. Ah-ha-ha-ha! Uh -huh, uh -huh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Alright. Hardly a reason not to attack here, unfortunately. I mean, play your play your big old monster out first. Play your creature out. In oh are you serious? Well this is terrifying. And vigilance and trample. Well jeez. Oh my god. Am I just dead? No, but that's, that's a heap. Sure. <gasps> oh! I should have put them in the yard. Yeah, no, that was, that was, that was hot. That was pretty decent. Didn't matter, but I should have put them in the yard for cards that care about, like Multani, cards that care about them being in the yard. That was a power game. I, I dig that. Ooh. Okay, well, it doesn't require that I get two in a row, so... We're still in this. Maybe we'll go 2-2, like I do at melee tournaments nowadays. 
Well, I see nowadays. I haven't been to a melee tournament since, you know, global pandemic, but... Fun fact, the Athens meta... I mean, I don't get to travel too much, so the Athens meta is about as far as I get to go, save maybe an Atlanta event every now and then. But the Athens meta is so good, my last tournament that I played over there, Tempest Winter, was the first non-round-robin, non-buster bracket that I ever actually won a match in, and I won two. I'd gone 0-2, unless it was round robin, where you play everyone in the tournament. And... There we go. Uh, the oh, they're gonna start off... They're gonna go for it. Why not? Why not? And, um... Ooh, that's, that's not great at all. It's not particularly great. Yeah, we'll play this. And Buster Bracket is where you uh, are, get kicked out of the tournament, like, because you've lost <laughs> a bunch. And then you uh, get to play in a just a fun bracket against other people who've been kicked out. So, like, if you go 0-2, you lose your first two rounds, you get in, get in the Buster Bracket. It's to give people a chance to play some more. You know, because if you win, you get to keep playing more rounds. If you lose in a double elimination tournament, you're just out. And that doesn't feel good for anyone. That's not great. I think you may have gotten a sneak peek at why I have the sunglasses on. <laughs> now you can just rewind on YouTube and see, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, what is this, a 1-2 flyer? Okay. Yeah, non-creature spells. I'm going to give him the oops on that one. Give him the oops. Okay. Oh, you know, it might help if I actually paid attention to what my creature happened to be. Discard, what is this? We'll say an island. Lots of islands, man, I really should have sorted my deck better. Can't be blocked by green creatures. Deals damage to an opponent you may draw a card. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, interesting. It's useless. It's not useless, but I'd, I'd rather use my mana to curve out rather than getting that ability in. It is what it is. It's okay. Dwarf Soldier. Okay. Ooh. Can only... Flying? But can only block creatures with flying. That's good to know. So now I guess there's not much reason for you not to attack then, is there? Uh, so we'll next play a Swamp. I guess we'll play this out first. See what we get. Uh, another island. You know, if there's ever a chance to do the meme of... <laughs> sure, let's go for it. Uh, to do the meme of 60 islands in your deck, this would be the reason. This would be the time. We're not going to be able to block this anyway, so might as well. Just swing out. If they block, that's cool. I mean, we're not going to be able to block any of the things they attack with anyway, so might as well. Alright. Let's see. You yeah, could have found a better card, to be sure. Enters the battlefield. Okay. That's fine. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. What do we get? What do we get? Planes. Sure. I'm sorry. Enters the battlefield. Do what now? You gain one life for each creature card in your graveyard. Uh, seems like a bit of a nombo. Not gonna lie. I have to attack because they can attack no matter what. So I might as well, to be honest. Um, doesn't really matter. Okay. We're still, I mean, we're on parity for damage, but they're ahead by a decent bit, too. I mean, I'm about to take four here, go to 10 versus 19. Oh boy, let's see what they have. So 4-5, that's it, just a 4-5. Still, I mean, we can block it, so that's not the worst, that's not the biggest deal. Okay. Dude? 
doot. That gets old after a bit. Uh, we'll say planes, just in case I find any activated abilities that deal damage. What are you? I'm sorry. Death touch. Oh. Oh, okay. It's just death touch. That's cool. Can't attack here, though. Pains me not to be able to, but we can't attack here. What I would do for reach, my kingdom for something with reach, can't be blocked by green creatures. Not that it matters here. Cheese. What I would do... Oh, man. Ah, oh, this isn't looking great, folks. I need something serious to happen. Well, I mean, that's fine. That's not a big deal. All right. Okay, so the fact that we have gone this long, play, like we played a, a land behind, that, may, that might matter here. What is this? Nezahal. Pa <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, we're just dead. Not really. Like, we could maybe find something to deal with these guys, but we're just... No. We can't do anything about him, so we're just dead. I am going to be stopped at 7. I can't play another land and get a spell out. Edgewise. What is this? It's another 7-7, seven, seven, but what is it? Can block an additional... Cre oh, that's... That's not cool. Es no bueno. Que lastima. Means what a shame. Okay. What is this? Other dinosaur creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, well, if I had more turns, that would be nice. <laughs> kind of just want to go out with a bang. Sure. What the heck? No reason to do this. Just being silly at this point. Get the one with trample out. Totally matters. Totally matters. Yeah. Okay, and they got me. Say good game. They might have an attack-based quest, so I'll just let them attack first. Instead of conceding, because it, like, attack with X number of creatures, that's an actual quest you can get here, so... I'll just let him go at it. Actually, I don't even know what my quest is. But whatever it is, I, I guess I'm claiming it. What was it? I, I can't know now, can I? Oh no! Maybe someone can figure out what it was. Alright, keep on, keep on keeping on. All we get out of this is a stinking card. <laughs> That's okay. I need to win a little bit more. Just a little bit, please. That would be nice. Whew. Okay. Yellow cat. It, I mean, it is kind of a yellow cat. Got that gold mane going on. Alright. Yeah, I, when, I, when you're on the play, I think you almost have to not play your first turn. Because you're just going to be behind. Oh, they're doing it too. Let's go. Let's... I, I want to meme on them and just play all the mountains out, but no, let's not. Ooh. Can feel some Nezahal shenanigans. Oh, what do they do? What do they do? Okay. I mean... Oh, they missed it! I should... Oh, wait, no, they didn't, because I went first. That's right. I went first. Good, good. Felt bad for a sec. Oh, no, they're in the wrong order. They're not mirroring each other. You broke it. Okay. So they're gonna play out a three drop, and thus it begins. Starting at three. I'm okay with this. I'll get four. What is this? Just a. Enters the battlefield, put a. <laughs> Yay. <gasps> Yay. Okay. I will respond in kind. Um, enough mountains. Touch screens, OP. Please nerf. Ah, oh, see, Gym Razor. No mutating. Well, I didn't have another creature anyway. What am I saying? 
What am I saying? Okay. Well, there's almost no reason not to just play out land diversity unless you want to meme on people. You never know, you might need it. Deals damage, okay. Oh, so they could deal one here, and then if they attack, I can't block without losing my creature. I'm not willing to make that trade, am I? It doesn't have menace itself. I'm not willing to make that trade. I'll take less damage next turn if I just keep my 4-4 in all likelihood. Alright. A5. There we go. Mountain again. Just too many mountains. Too many cooks. Can't be blocked this turn. Oh, that'll be nice. That'll be a nice little thing to have. Maybe. Alright, uh-oh. What happened? Oh no! Oh no, I just remembered. Oh, that's, that's gonna, that's gonna suck. Ah, uh, well. And then, okay. Well, play that out. Oh, that's going to suck so bad. But I'm not in a spot where I cannot play something when this mutates each opponent sacks a creature. Would I ever? Man, I'd love to. Alright. Well, 5-5 five, five Omnith. Big boy. Uh-oh. Yeah, um... Omnith, you're, you're sick. That's a 5-7. Vigilance, when it comes blocked by a creature, exile that creature until it leaves the battlefield. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, it can just... Oh, and it's even Thanos! It just, just, it's just gonna Thanos snap me. Well, hopefully, I can get something a little bit better. Uh, swamp. I already have double black. Oh, uh, what? Hexproof from monocolored. Please tell me that's target. No, exile that creature. Oh boy. I better start doing something. Otherwise, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, folks. Oh boy. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it has vigilance too. Why does it have vigilance? That thing is oppressive in, in this format. Uh, I know it's luck, but I still am having fun with this. All right. So that's the only thing that can attack. Well, no, no, that's wrong. I can do some shenanigans with, ah, uh, no. Oh no, what's this? Two or fewer cards in hand against flying until end of turn. I have one card with flying and it can kill that, so, okay. Uh-oh. Well, keep playing, I guess. You win 0% of the games where you concede, don't you? Alright, 8 drops. Tide Spout Tyrant. Okay. Next turn I can get rid of it. Temporary. Well, no, I can get rid of it permanently. That's right. Alright, so we're just going to hold back for a bit. Next turn, next turn, I can actually play two smaller spells. I can try to hunt for, um... Uh, I just had his name. Ravenous Chupacabra. Okay, what do they get? Ah, <laughs> you're a jerk. It's okay, it's okay. We can live with that now. Thankfully, we have an answer. Still can't block, though. Okay, so the most important cards to get rid of here. Um, if I play one out, I get Nezahal. But I don't think that's the right thing to do. I think we go for four twice. Alright. Oh, it doesn't count as casting a creature. 
Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Once per turn. Oh, it's once per turn. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, I see. I'm gonna give him the oops. That did not go as planned. Well, okay, so good news, we're still... No, oh, no, we lose because they have the preserver. Uh, I'm gonna concede. I should have given the good game. I should have let them attack. What am I doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that did not work as planned. Nessa Hall doesn't save me either. Um, not when you're facing down a team of 7-7s. Seven uh, but, you know, that was fun. That was fun. What else could I have gotten? Is there a, a creature in Magic right now, in in Historic, that's like a Black Rose Dragon where it ETBs and blows everything else up? Or blows everything up? If so, that'd be nice. Sadly, using the Momir Emblem doesn't count as casting the creature, so... Sorry, Tide Spout. I know someone out there watched that and realized what was going to happen and just got their popcorn, just waiting for my reaction. Okay. This is a... This is a... Difficult keep. Um, I don't like this art too much, so I may shove it just- no. <laughs> the island art's pretty decent. You can see Godzilla coming from the sea. When has that ever been a bad thing? Harm 91. Please do it. Hey, let's go. Oh, did I play them in reverse? Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Oops. I want to give him the oops. Black. Alright. Whale Esper shenanigans. They are ahead. So it's it's fine. It's just about... <laughs> ha! 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 Okay. Let's try this again. Get rid of... Island. As much as I say I like it. Oh, and you have that many more. Alright, so a 2-3 with reach. Ha ha! We can live with that. Okay. I love how I'm not the only one that came up with that idea of just wait. All you have to do is just wait. Alright, 4 mana 4-4s. Four we can live with that, that's fine. Just play it out and see what we got. Uh, is that a 3-3? Three, three? Uh, oh my goodness, we've been discarding lands! We've been discarding lands! Oh my goodness, that's so stupid! <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so stupid. I legitimately might just block this turn if they attack. Even for just two. Of course, the longer they wait, the worse it gets. 5-4 flying? Oh god. Well, let's just do it. Another mountain. Ooh! Oh no! Whee! Uh, well, I mean, I have a bigger flyer, so there is that. And I had a creature with reach anyway, not that it helps that much. Hmm, okay. What is this 4-4? Four, four. Flying Vigilance, power and toughness equal the number of creatures you control. When it attacks, create a number of 2-2. Two, two. Ooh, equal the number of opponents you have. That's interesting. See what we get. What is this, 6-5? Just a 6-5. Well, that's... I have one flyer and one creature with reach. Maybe I should have attacked with World Shaper once earlier just to get more lands in my yard? Other dinosaur. okay. Do they have any more dinosaurs? They do not. Okay. I mean, no, it, ah, it's fine, it's fine. What's done is done. 
What's done is done, it feels so bad. What once was happy, now is sad. Okay, well, it has flying when it attacks. Not that big a deal otherwise. Uh, sure. They're not gonna block, of course. It's fine, because I won't attack after this. I have plenty of lands in my graveyard. I'll be fine for the rest of the game if I can cast two 8-drops. <laughs> oh boy. Yo, Gishoth, that's... no, wait. That, that's not the one I was thinking of. It was Nezahal. Deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards... Put any number... Ah, uh, okay. It does have haste. It does have haste. Vigilance tram... Oh, okay. You're a 7-7 seven, seven now, Harry. Okay. I know which one's dying there. I guess I should double block here. Get rid of the bigger creature. I guess that that's right. I'm gonna be losing two. They're gonna be losing two. But they they did get a 2-2 here. So that's that's always good for them. Yep. It's not like I didn't lose my bigger creatures in that exchange. Okay. Now they have to be more reluctant about attacking. Fo oh! <laughs> yes, this is the Billy Mays commercial card. Or what's the uh, flapping, double flapping, no flapping? I, I don't know. I've seen I've seen someone make all of the abilities into something that rhymes with appen. Okay, convoke flying. That's not the kind of card you want to see in this. All right, here goes nothing. One more. One must. Yeah, they're counting my lands. Now, there may be more 9-drops now. Oh, yeah, that's right. We get an 11-11 trample. That's right. That's right. No reason not to attack with that. It has no flapping. All right, can, will they take the 8? Hey! Got there. Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah, the... The lizard allegory for a nuclear bomb was the nuclear bomb dropped on that game. Alright, so what'd we get? Watery grave. Hey! Did I not have any watery graves? As many of those packs as I opened. God, I love this game. Kind of would like to play it one more. One more time, maybe. Sure. Sure. If we're gonna get a chance to play, we might as well. That was a silly game. Hit stack cam. His deck calm. Oh man. Well, they're going first. I like that. Okay. Give him the hearty hello. Pass. <laughs> I, this must be common wisdom. I thought that was a, a thing that a lot of people wouldn't do, especially after that first game. But no, this is a common thing now. Why did I not play to match theirs? Oh well. Oh well. Oh whale. Oh whale. Hmm. Oh, they're gonna they're doing it. Starting at three. <laughs> okay. Well, um I mean it could be worse, but no, that's pretty bad. I'm actually tempted to keep waiting, to be honest. I care so little for that card, but we're it's fine. Now is fine. It's still going to leave us, let's see, we'll do mounting. You know, quite a few turns before we run out of cards. You end up going net two down. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. That doesn't help us. The mana doesn't help us here because of Momir Emblem. 
Death Touch lifelink. That's decent. Get some attacks in to negate this damage, I guess, if they don't. Well, they're going to play a creature, so that's not really going to happen. Unless somehow they get another defender. Well, it's not a, oh, it's not a defender. Okay, but what are you? Attacks if you can... Aha, uh -huh. okay, cool. Hmm. My opponent is not getting terribly lucky so far. Not yet. Well, they'll get there. Oh, hello. I actually do planes next. Green's my favorite color in the game, but I think we're okay. Alright. And... I haven't played... Well... You know what? Let's just... Too many mountains. Red is almost certainly my least favorite color in the game, actually. Enters the battlefield, deals one damage to any target. Um, that seems silly. Just deal it to them. Otherwise, it's a 3-3 three, three to stare down a 3-3. Three, three. That's not great. That's not great. And then I'll take one. One damage to each opponent. And because it's not casting a pirate spell, even if they get a pirate, it won't, it won't matter. Yeah... Yeah, these cards... Oh, okay. Hmm. Ooh, we're back to this. I am okay with waiting. I can't wait too long because this actually deals damage, but I'm okay with waiting a little while. Maybe I should have actually attacked with my Death Touch creature. Just to put me ahead on... or, uh, put me up on life. I don't actually dislike that they're doing this. I probably should have taken the opportunity to break serve, though. Actually. Since I got the extra card from being on the draw... Maybe. Ooh, okay. Oh, and this just cares about it entering the battlefield. Yeah, in that case, I, I think I messed up. I think I goofed. Since I had the extra card to play with, I should have played with it. That's okay. We'll see if it works out. Maybe not. Oh well. Um, play it another swamp, just in case we get an ability that cares about that. Alright, what do we get? Come on! What is this? A 6-6 six, six to meet your 6-6. Six, six. Okay. Hexproof Flying Vigilance Trample has Hexproof if it hasn't dealt damage yet. Interesting. Well, no lifelink. But since I'm behind on life, it doesn't mean too much. If they attack, I'll probably not block, attack with Vigilance, and then block on the next go, I guess. We'll see. It won't have Hexproof at that point. Do you have to watch it? Alright. Nezahal. Okay. I mean, that's big. big. But we have a Death Touch creature. And if they return it to hand, that's not going to make a... Big splash, pun intended. Pun completely intended there. Uh, would you like to trade? Trade dragons. I have an elder dragon. I am okay with this. Let's see. I did say I should have waited. Probably should have waited. One worry about waiting, though, is that if they happen to get a dragon later on, they're just going to get a 5-5 on top of it, too. Ooh! 
Ooh. Hello. Hello. Oh, we're going to say no attack. Just pass it right along. As you do. As you do. And if they don't attack, that's fine, I guess, but geez, this thing hits for like a truck. That's uh, four to them, three to you, plus the, uh, the damage is going through as well. And then three to something else. Man. Yeah, Dracoseth is, uh, is an absolute unit. Well, several units, apparently. Look at those heads. Okay. Four Brigmos and Rage. When it deals combat damage to a player, reveal the top three cards. Put all land cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. <gasps> Ooh, that actually seems kind of decent. And you can discard a land to deal three damage to any target. Oh, boy. So if that thing gets to deal combat damage to a player, I lose the game unless I block with... Oh, wait a minute. They could discard a card just to kill this. That's neat. That's neat. They didn't, though. Interesting. Should be at eight. Um, sure. All right, what do we have? Okay, I can live with that. Cause this this will this will easily work on you. So just you, for now. Nezahal gets well. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let wait. So Borgringmos kills the lifelink creature. Or Brigmos gets blocked here. Nezahal block gets blocked. Oh, it's fine. Okay. First one is four damage to any target and three damage to up to two other targets. One. Does it matter? I kind of want to hit you just because you're indestructible. It doesn't make a difference, but who even cares? Well, I guess they could always point the land at their creature. Or shiggles, I guess. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay. One more turn. Deals one to me. Now they have some shenanigans going on. Um, if they would like to play this, they went first, right? So, yep. Oh, that's a lot of planes. It was a little deceptive. If they'd like to play their 9-drop, they can't also discard a card. They'll have to play the land and discard it for Momir instead of discarding it for Borgerigmos. But they better be really, really sure that that 9-drop's gonna get them there. Okay. Why not? Okay. He's gonna have their 8-drop. Which is fine. What eight drops do I have to worry about? End razor? Maybe. That's a eight drop, right? Decimator of the provinces, is that the one I'm thinking of? No, it's end razor. What? I'm sorry, what just happened? Um oh no. Oh, that sucks. Whatever it was, it copied it. And it's legendary. I was like, wait, Spark Double is not that much mana. Spark Double is four. Okay. Um, I have no idea what just happened there. But that was silly, and I like it. Should I play again? You know, we don't get to play this too often, so... Yeah, I'll do one more. Okay, but hold me to it, folks. Last one. Last one. This is fun and all. Story time with T1 Glistener Elf. So, uh... I was doing some gardening and got in poison up, so that's why there's sunglasses on. Even wearing gloves and long sleeves has still got me. So, sorry. Just use your imagination. <laughs> it's fine now. It's not so bad. I, I didn't... Uh, I, I didn't realize that it had gotten on my face as soon as I needed to, and by the time I went and got a shower, it was already kind of a problem very technical term. Give him the hello. Kind of a problem. I will give you, I will spoil this for you though. 
resolution, 1080p. I don't know how well you can see that, probably not too terribly well, even with the lights, but uh, oh no, that's, that's pretty clear. Like, holy crap. Oh yeah, I better not hit the wrong button there. <laughs> yeah, it's okay though, I'm fine. It's not itchy, doesn't hurt. <laughs> the itchiness, weirdly, is the eyebrow, of all places. I'm fine. Now, I'm going first, so I, I want them to break serve. Ah, they're doing it. They're doing it. It's okay, they'll play a three, I'll play a four, and so on. Since they're getting the advantage of having the extra card, I think that's okay. Uh, at least I'll have the bigger drop now. What do you do? Injures the bad. <laughs> okay. Now let's go for it. Eeny, meeny, miny. You? Okay. What was that? One for each creature you control. Okay. I mean, I can live with that. Gain a life, block this creature. Well, okay, now what do we have? Pinches the battlefield, look at the top card. <laughs> okay, these cards that were definitely not designed for this format. You know what? I needed a forest anyway, I'll just play it out. Then discard a forest. Injures the battlefield. Each player loses. Oh! Oh, and this flies. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. It's no bueno. That could go... You know, Menace Death Touch. I'm okay with that. Give it Trample too, and I could actually just blaze right on through them. Not anymore. Okay, just multicolored stuff. I mean, we'll see them soon enough. <sighs> Return it to the owner's hand at the beginning of the next 10 step. That doesn't do anything here, though. Other than that's a flying 5-4, and I'm at 14. So, we have a- Houston, we have a problem. I'm still going to attack here, with you. I need to. And then they'll block... Menace Death to Yeah, they're okay with making that trade. No, no, now they would have to block with those two. That's odd. Okay. See what we get. Uh, you. Alright. 5 4 flying, 5 4 flying. Cool. Attack here. So they'd have to lose both their creatures if they want to block. So therefore, they will not. Hey. I like the sound of that. Now it's their turn for a six drop. One of the reasons I keep harping on Nezahal is that Nezahal has some abilities, so even when you get to the point where you have so much mana you don't know what to do with, you can do still do stuff. And the abilities are relevant. Uh oh. Oh, okay. For each creature card. For some reason I was thinking land. Thankfully I'm wrong. Sack another creature, you gain one life and draw a card. That totally matters. Totally ma- uh-oh. What's pointing at it? Oh, they're just reading it. Whee! Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, enough of that. Surveil 2, put them both in the graveyard. Cool. That's easy. That was easy. Let's see what we get here. What are we at? 7 now? Yep. Better safe than sorry, just checking. Ooh. Ah! 
No! It's plus two plus two and gains trample. It can attack as though it didn't have defender. No! That's that's not what I want to see. Okay. So yeah, they're just gonna double block to kill it. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Boom, boom. Alright, and death touch, so yay two for ones. Woo! I have to spend seven mana to attack with this jerk. No! Okay. What what big stuff is coming up here? Oh, they can't see the eyebrows. You can't see the eyebrows. Alright, when this creature mute, no, no one cares. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's what matters. Okay. Well, play this. Eight. Please be Zatalpa for the 45th time. For the third time. <gasps> I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh, that's such a good card. Oh, my goodness. That's such a good card. Please get your own Grizzlebrand just to make me eat that good game. Oh, welcome to Yogmoth's Bargain. Now, I can't go to one, for obvious reasons, but uh, they can't attack. This thing doesn't fly. Block here, block here. Kills that. You know. Okay, what do we have? Uh, when it's dealt damage. Ooh. Give him the nice on that one. That's pretty good. When it's dealt damage, create a token that's a copy. Alright, who's coming in? Oh, you, f you do fly? No, am I blind? Am I blind here? Oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Alright, so they killed this thing because it's bigger. This doesn't look too bad. It's just when Polyraptor is dealt damage. Alright, cool. My turn. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do it. Do it for nine. Yep. Play you like a boss. <gasps> oh, okay. No, no, no. We'll attack first. I mean, we know we're only going to get lands anyway, so might as well. Block. Preserve your life total. Mwahahaha. What this means is that I can trade seven life for the ability to make a land drop uh, and play it, but are there any... There are ten drops, right? I'm actually curious. I don't know. There's a... Uh, is... Uh, Ulamog in this format? No, wait. Coslek is ten. Ulamog is eleven. Except there's an Ulamog at... 10 now, isn't there? From uh, Battle for Zendikar. That was 10, I think. Oh man, I hope so. Alright. Let's see what we have. Can it beat an 11 11 trample and a 7 7 flyer? That? Ooh! Oh, that does nothing! That does nothing! So, this is one of those might as well attack, because they're just going to make a copy anyway. So, deal six makes a copy of itself. Results. Okay, go to my turn. Good game? All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. Ten. I see ten. 
Oh, but Ulamog is a cast trigger. No, not Ulamog. Interesting. Convoke indestructible. Sure. Sure, let's go with that. So block here, here, and then they're dead. Even if they block all of this, that's only this is trampling, it's only gonna prevent eight. Uh, they just let it throw. Oh, I should have activated the ability in response. Oh, no, no, they didn't let it through. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Oh, this does keep them alive, doesn't it? It doesn't. I need to put the Polyraptor first. So that it doesn't get non-lethal damage. Because then it would get a copy of itself. And then we'd be in real trouble. Okay, that resolves. Cool. So we're in a similar spot to where we were earlier. I just needed to attack. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we have a Convoke Indestructible creature. It's fine. We'll live. And they can't attack with you. So, uh, yeah. Good times. I'll just play another 10 drop, I guess? Wait, are there 11 drops? How, how far can I go? Oh. Activate only during your upkeep. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, sorry, attack. You can do your thing. Get out of here, like eyelash or something. Uh, sure, go to my turn. Should I just play another 10 drop? Are there 11 drops? Are there 11 drops? I want to so badly. I don't know what happens though. If I if I guess incorrectly what happens. Oh, I want to do it. All right, please let there be an 11 drop. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> That's so, okay. Note to self. Note to self. Ten drops. I think we attack with Grizzlebrand. We can't attack here, because we need to actually have lethal for Polyraptor. Do we just wait? Yeah, we just wait. At least now I know. No 11 drops. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm sorry. At least we're at 22 to 2. Still going to play more lands. <gasps> there you are. Now it has to actually attack, so we're not we're not out of the woods yet. It has to attack, but it's indestructible. <gasps> oh, I don't have a flyer. How many 10 drops are in the format? Can't be that many more, right? All right. So I should just play the nine drop shenanigans. You may pick six life. Okay, never mind. So it's just a flying trample. 
just a flying trample creature. Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. Now, now we're in big trouble, folks. Maybe I can get my own Blazing Archon? That's Vigilance Reach Trample. Yes, it has reach. We're okay. Okay, they can't attack with Blazing Archon, but they can attack with you, and if they realize that, then I'm in trouble. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ah. Okay, what's the, uh, it's 16 mana for the stupid big, the even bigger Convoke creature, right? That's not in this format, though, is it? 11, oh, hi. Oh, they didn't get Godzilla, though. Strictly worse. Strictly bad. Oh, boy. Untap all lands you control. Uh, I have to let it through so that I can deal a ton of damage. Dealing three damage to target creature, that's actually the more consequential play. Yeah, I have to just take it. Which mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I can even blow up an artifact too if I just feel like it. We'll, we'll play it slowly. Has to be a creature though, sadly. I can even do it again. Not that it helps here, but I can. We'll destroy an artifact or enchantment. You're indestructible. No, you're not. You're not indestructible. And you're indestructible. You're indestructible, so I'm very much not worried about you. Wait. Play a forest, because that actually matters for its abilities. Having only one planes is a bit of an issue, but we're okay. We are okay. I'm gonna win this game. I can feel it so bleep hard now. Okay, 39. Yeah, we're outside of the 20 for Ulamog. No trample. No trample. Trample. Whenever a creature an opponent controls is dealt damage, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Hmm, okay. Two damage to target creature. Yeah, we can't use this ability on Polyraptor without hating ourselves for it. It's a very technical term. Hello? There we go. And then just do it again. And just call it game. Yeah, yeah, this is game. Oh, we beat a Blazing Archon. We managed to beat a Blazing Archon, folks. I told you, I told you I like this card. Negative 35, oh wow. Yeah, we beat a Polyraptor and a, and we even missed on our 11 drop. Okay, note to self, note to anyone else out there, if you're playing Momir on Arena, do yourself a favor and check to see what other, <laughs> what CMCs actually have cards. Because, uh, I sure didn't. Oh dear. Oh well, that was fun. That was fun, folks. Oh, we have packs. We'll open packs. I did say last one. I'm going to hold myself to it. We have a pack. We have enough to buy another one, too. 
Oh, Emergent Ultimatum. Yay. Search your library of the three monocolor cards with different names and exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards, shuffle that card into your library, and you cast the other cards without paying it. So, pick three cards that are monocolored, cast the worst two of the three. Um, yes, I guess. I, there's a side of me that really wants to say, Cryptic Command, Profane Command. <laughs> no, no, can't do that, because that has X in the cost. Uh, so that would be Cryptic Command, Primal Command, and then Black Card that has options like that. And then just others, you know, go from there. <laughs> silly, silly, silly card. Completely unplayable, way too expensive, but I love, I do love just looking at that. What is this? What is this? Alright, so other than that though, looks like a pretty typical pack. Cool. Humans get a buff, that's a thing. That's a thing, I guess. I guess we'll go back on our hunt for triumphs. See if we can get one more. I I like them especially because I like to play historic with Michael and the rest of the content creator crew. So that helps. Oh I have you in arena too now. Hey there! Okay. Elementals.deck. I don't care that the companion rule got changed. I love you. So uh <laughs> Yes. Making an Elementals deck right now. Okay. Uh, but other than that, I mean, that's cool. That's cool. What can you do? Solid Footing's a, an Enchantress, or a Hexoras card. Not Hexoras. Bogle. What is that deck called now? Just Auras, right? <laughs> Alright. That's it, I guess. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye bye! Shouts to Evangeline for letting me <laughs> wear sunglasses. That's cool. Shoutouts to Nintendo or whoever made these for them being so they're they're big on a little kid, but I guess my head's not like a basketball, so I can I can wear it. It's fine. <laughs>